Terrifying moments at a movie theater in Creve Core this weekend as families feared there was an active shooter. Fox News Laura Simon spoke with a father who was there with family when this all went down. I'm not an expert on guns. In, in, in that moment, I truly thought that he was pointing an actual gun at people. Brian Fender took his 12 year old daughter, 13 year old son and wife who's seven months pregnant to go see Inside Out 2 on Saturday. Just thought it was going to be a normal, you know, family movie day. But family fun turned to panic and fear inside the AMC theater on Olive Boulevard. Police say someone pulled out a toy gun and began shooting gel beads into the crowd. We noticed a group of, I believe, three uh, teenagers sneak into the movie. They were clearly not part of the movie, hadn't been there the whole time. They were jumping around seats, you know, acting like they weren't there really to see the movie. And probably with about 10 minutes left in the movie, uh, one of the individuals put on a ski mask, pulls a what looked like a long rifle out of his backpack. It was colorful, but you know, in the heat of the moment, we didn't really know what was going on. Finner says he called police right away. It all happened super fast, and I'm just happy that they were able to catch the kid because this was obviously a very terrifying situation. Grave Corps police say they quickly arrested the boy in a nearby parking lot. They recovered the bead launching gun and mask he was wearing. But since the suspect is under 18, the St. Louis County Family Court will determine what happens next. Whether through, you know, punitive action or maybe even just like having to face these families that he traumatized understands the effect that he had by doing this. I'm not sure that there's any one way to fix the issue. On another note, I do think it was definitely um, Eye opening for me the just like the security measures in the theater. How is this kid able to bring something like that in a bag into a movie theater full of people? That's the terrifying part for me. Investigators say no injuries were reported in Creve Corps, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.